there, I'm Bonnie McCaffrey, and thank you so much for coming back again this month for another vidcast. I'm up in Canada, and I have discovered Dominique Herman, and I want to tell you her quilts are incredible. They're almost like, like this little story place that you could walk into. So, Dominique. Yes? Tell me about your quilt. It's amazing, because I could, like, go in here. Mm-hmm. When I was at an exhibit, I saw people being so emotional in front of the quilt, and I say, if I could just bring them inside the quilt, the emotion would be multiplied. So I tried my best, and I came upon a pop-up book, and I opened oh. the pop-up book, and it was all there. So I bought two pop-up books, I dismantled one oh. to understand how yeah. it was working, yeah. and I made this small-scale model is one sixth of this quilt. Okay. What did you make the small scale model out of? Uh, out of, I was camping. So out of uh, cereal boxes and paper and I recycled everything and oh I draw gosh. everything and color crayon. So basic, basic, yeah. basic. Yeah, but yeah. not fabric. Not C yet, no. Cereal paper. boxes <laughs> and crayons. <laughs> then uh, the project seems so huge that my husband said, okay, you can go and, and build it, but you have to prove it to me that it's going to be great. So I went to the printer, I enlarged all the model, all the paper model, and downstairs we built a huge scale model, but full size. And I entered oh the gosh. scale model, and then I discovered all the places I needed to put fabric and organize. And it was great experience because the scale model was a bit too wide, so we knew all the way uh, already that it was too wide. I shrinked it just a bit, and I fitted everything, and then I knew that I was able to go all the way. So tell me about the quilt downstairs. Yes. Um, after making this quilt... Is this uh, the first one? This is the first 3D uh, huge. I have some smaller 3D. You'll be able to see my first one. It's called Lady Gabby and it was made for my uh, daughter 25th birthday. Oh, I love that. It's just <laughs> amazing the dimension with the the grill work and the lady and then what's behind it. Yeah, I try to invent story when I create quilt and this story is about you have the outside and the lady is in the castle and she's waiting for her lover and the, the lover, uh, her husband is, worked for a plane company and he's in a balloon so he's in Aww. outside. So he's on there? Yes, a Aww, small, small one, he's on there. That's perfect, that's yes. perfect. So that was the first one that you did? Yes. That one and then this is the first large scale one that yes. you did? Yeah, a first large and, scale. Mm -hmm. And so tell us about this quilt. What, it, what is the story in this quilt? Okay. I, I want, uh, I'm a forest girl. I'm a tree girl. I live in the forest and I walk in the forest every day. So trees are important to me. I want to put them. Child, childhood is very important to me too. I'm not very far from childhood. And I, I, I want it to be placed September end of September because I want my little girl to have a coat. Oh. I, I find it cuter with a coat. Yeah. And then I just wanted to, it was very new to create a 3D quilt and I had to find a subject that would appeal to the public so they will like the quilt. So it's a game that you play together. So I tried yeah. to, to for, for my first one to be uh, welcoming everybody and because I didn't put a face on my little girl, everybody create its own <gasps> story. You're right. They, they play with the imagination because they just see, see yeah. her in the quilt. Now, I know that everybody watching is wondering, how long did it take you to make this? Um, uh, over a period of two years because I, I work full time. Oh and, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> but it took me a thousand hours to make this quilt. Wow. And what I, you showed me a photo earlier. When you look at the quilt from the, I'm going to call it the backside, yes. it looks like a quilt. And then you said when you come around to the other side, that's when you get to see what's in and you go into the yes. quilt. The, the meaning of that is, I think that sometimes there's um, a difference be, between the traditional quilter and the non-traditional quilter. And for my, my thought, personal thought, I thought we should be a big family. So the oh. quilt was meant to be a kind of a reunion of both sides. So. Yeah. When it's presented as it should be, it's presented by the back. So you see the tradition, you go around and you discover the fantasy. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, you also have a quilt downstairs, which is amazing. And so tell me about that quilt. Okay, 
uh, it, this quilt was very well received by the public, but so so by the organization of the quilt show. So I, I, I had to stop making that kind of 3D quilt. And the rule says that your quilt needs to hang only on a sleeve, no quilt track, and it, the quilt track needs to be the quilt track of the organization. Uh -huh. And places I went, except Montreal, I have to say, they kind of changed the rules for this rule too. So the next one had to be uh, built uh, only with uh, hanging with a sleeve, okay? Right. So uh, I've been a chocolate maker and a baker, pastry baker for 25 years. You're so thin. <laughs> I have you a husband who has a sports shop. So okay. uh, the combination of both, uh, we're active people. Yeah. And um, I wanted to um, uh, make tribute to, to those 25 years. And when I work as a chocolate maker, it's all lab laboratory look. It's very white and it's very clean. And But I want a fantasy chocolate uh, factory. So I uh, I play with that. And the theme is about chocolate and, um, and cakes. Mm -hmm. And it's called Sweet Memories. And um, it's more like extreme chop and toe. That's the technique I have invented to, to play 3D, but be able to hang only with a sleeve. So but it's extreme trapunto, right? Yeah, okay. It lets me play 3D, but on, on a smaller scale. But I can pop up everything, like uh, you will see uh, the pants and the shoes of the chocolate maker. They pop out of the quilt. There's a frame, and inside the frame, there's a chocolate factory. But it's all miniature, so it's all built up, but you can look inside, it's 3D. And uh, you have the two uh, border. They are made with paper piecing cakes and uh, cupcakes. And on those uh, two border, you have more than 2,200 pieces of fabric. Only on the, oh the, the, the frame part, there's more than 1,000 uh, pieces. Incredible. So Who are the little kids? The little kids on the, on the quilt are my grandkids, uh, Antoine and Adélie. <laughs> so you're going to give us a little demo of kind of how you design this? Is that what you're going to give us a demo of or how it's constructed? Uh, what I would like to show you, it's maybe in a weekend you cannot make a quilt like this. or the you quilt, <laughs> Or the quilt you got uh, about the chocolate factory. But after making this quilt, I kind of uh, find a, a way to make 3D quilt, but in a fun way, in a simple way. Oh. I would like to show you a, a very fun way to make 3D quilt uh, in a weekend. Tell us how you go about this design process. How, how does it all start? Okay, it's different from a 3D pattern than from a, a regular quilt, artistic quilt pattern, because artistic quilt are mostly 2D, but when you you make your design and you want it to be 3D, you need to make a scale model. It's exactly one sixth of the size. Okay. So every time I had questioning about the proportion, the perspective, I went back to this small scale model and I put my ruler on and I multiply by six and it, it worked, it right. worked all the way. And uh, so I, I went to the printer and we enlarge all the drawing and Downstairs, we build a um, full-scale model in paper, in wood, in styrofoam, in, with nails and uh, gun tacker, and I, we were able to build this whole set. It's a replica full size of the one you saw in fabric, but this was great because I was able to enter the quilt and see all the angles I had to, to create. So it would be interesting for the viewer because it's good to in, uh, welcome the viewer inside the quilt, but if you have nothing to show, it, it won't make a... They won't stay. No, they won't stay. So yeah. Uh, yeah. It, they need to uh, to be grabbed by some view. So you need the sky to go on, the the, the forest to go on, and uh, that, that was the way. And it was a great turn uh, for building this quilt. So tell us how this works, because I'm having a tough time understanding how you make this stand up and hang. Okay. Um, th this quilt was based on regular quilt hanging from sleeve. The difference is instead of hanging only one quilt, I have hanged four quilts. Okay. Okay. So it's like four layers. Four layers. And I, I did my drawing and then I print about 
seven copies of the drawing and I cut, fussy cut everything and I decide to place one in front, one in the back and I play with, like that and then I imagine all the hanging, all the sleeves and the quilt rack that my husband built is a custom fit quilt rack for this quilt. Perfect. Because it's uh, six feet high, eight feet wide and 18 inch uh, wide, yeah. uh, deep. deep. Amazing. Okay, so what does this show us? I had to find a way to let them play with 3D, but I think it's fantastic to play with. So I came up with this small ID of a morale. No, it won't put, I won't put that on a bed, and no, it doesn't go in the dishwasher, okay? But it, it's cute. I'm going to dismantle this one to show you how simple it okay, is. Good. Okay, good. Okay? You don't have to know how to draw. You can uh, use a panel, and this I call the window quilt, okay? That's a window quilt. It's made like a little quilt. So okay. bring it back here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, a so there's quilt. a window quilt. Okay, that's the front one. Uh-huh. And there's the support, and the support is made with um, foam core. Okay. It's very light, and yes. you can pin it down with small pins. Right. That becomes your nail, and if you want to stabilize it, you put a little glue, white glue on the, the tip of the pin, and when you pin it down, it stays okay. there. Okay. This is the small wall that creates the window. The depth, yeah. The depth. And this one is very, very quickly done. It's only fabric on the outside and painting on the inside. Okay. But it can be very well, nicely done. I'm going to just pick this one. I'm going to show you this one. Instead of the... Foam core? Foam core. You still have foam core, but it's all wrapped with fabric. It's like a long sleeve of fabric going all around. Okay, but it's the same principle. And at the back, you have... The quilt, and this is a very regular quilt, okay? Wow. But because it's placed on a foam core, and the foam core can be only the, the, the real foam core, but it could be all wrapped in the fabric of the okay. backing of the quilt. So you won't see it. It's a long pocket. You just slide the, the, uh, the foam core, and it gives the, the rigidity to the quilt. And it's as simple as that. I love this. And you use a panel the way you want to do. You, you take some fabric that goes with the panel and you play around. The little critters in the front, they're only raw applique with steam oh, seam and yeah. they're laminated together and they create the front seam. It's perfect. Okay? And the, instead of only having black simple things like that, you can wrap with fabric perfect. all the, and it's nicer, yeah. much finish. I love this. This is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Now, I want to throw you a little question I like to ask. Okay. What's your philosophy of life? I tend to be more like um, the leaf in the wind. I, I try to take the, the life bending, not falling, and being able to go with the current, not uh, around the current, and then I have more energy to play with life. I love it. I love it. Dominique, thank you so much for doing this with thank me. Thank you, Bonnie. It was a great chance to be uh, with you yeah. and your uh, friends on the web. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you all for coming. I hope you'll come back next month. See what I have for you then. Thanks for being with me.